Hi hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a seamless shake transition in After Effects. Ok, let's do it. First, let's create a composition and call it Shake Transition 01. Resolution 9020 and 1080. Duration 1 second. OK. First of all, let's import two images. File, Import, select the images and click Import. Perfectly. Drag them into our composition and crop them. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Rename it Transition. And also create a new null object and rename it Control. OK. Select the transition lower and add the transform effect. Select the control lower and add the slider control. Rename it Position. Now we need to duplicate and rename it FPS. The next step is to create keyframes for the animation. Select the control lower and go to the effects tab. Select both sliders and create keyframe on the first frame. In the middle and on the last frame. Select the second keyframe of position and change the value, for example 400. Change the value of the second slider to 3. Now let's fix the effects panel, so it doesn't disappear. Just click on the lock icon. The next step is creating a simple expression. Select the transition lower, open the effects tab, transform and click on the position property stopwatch icon while holding down the Alt K. The area for expression has opened and now we write an expression. V1 equal the value of the position slider. V2 equal the value of the FPS slider. Below we write wiggle in brackets v2, comma, v1. Ok, very easy. Let's see the result. Oh, oh, it looks terrible. Our animation is linear and needs to be smoothed. Select the control lower and press the UK. Now select all keyframes and click on the F9 button. Now we need to edit the curve graph. Go to the graph editor, open the graph of values and edit the curves. Yes, now looks much better. Let's edit it a little more. To get rid of the black fields, add a motion tile to the transition lower.
the motion tile effect must be above the transform effect. Output width 300 and height 302. And turn on mirror edges. Looks good, but something is wrong. We need to edit the graph of the curves for the FPS slider. Select FPS keyframes and go to the graph editor. The FPS slider is responsible for the oscillation frequency and the final result will depend on the curve settings. Perfect. I think we need to add some motion blur. Select the transition lower, go to the effects panel Uncheck the Use Shutter Composition checkbox. Also, increase the Shutter Angle to 240. To make the transition more interesting, you need to animate more properties – scale, rotation or all together. Therefore, we copied the position properties, expression and passed into scale. Stop. It can't be all easy. For each property we need to create a new slider. Select FPS slider and duplicate. Rename it Scale. Select Scale slider and duplicate. Rename it Skew. And the final property is Rotation. Now select the transition lower, go to the scale property and edit the expression. Delete the slider position's value and write the scale slider's value. And now copy the scale property's expression and pass it to skew. And in the same way, edit the expression. And the last property is rotation. Copy our expression and edit. Not bad, but not perfect. Better if we edit the value for each property. Scale 50, skew 8, rotation 10. Perfect! I like the result. Now let's delete the images. We don't need them. Create a new composition. Duration 5 seconds. Add images and crop them. Now let's apply our transition. Select Shape Transition 01 and drag it into our new composition. Oops, I forgot to add marker in the middle of the transition. Let's fix it now. 
Okay, go to back and let's transition. Drag it over again. Be sure to enable collapse transformation. Let's see the result. It looks cool. Thanks for watching it. Please like and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye bye.